Hey, Instagram out there, this is Big Gene. I just want to let y'all know this, man. I had a great time. I'm about to get on this plane, head back to the States. ASAP underscore L-O-Q. Log in. Yes. I just want to let everybody know, man, I'm headed back to the States. People been sending me news about the New York Post stated that they came up with the documents and could see the cover up of Big's death. I got on this limb on my own, man. I started out, like I said before, just to tell the truth to know, to let people know what happened. But in doing that, I've, I've met a lot of ridicule. Kerry Thomas in St. Louis, shout out to St. Shout out to you, Kelly. Kerry, I gotta shout out my St. Louis folks, y'all. Listen here, I had to let the folks know what was going on because shit was heavy on my heart because I went through it and I was trying to save Big's life. I was trying to save everybody there that night. And I got ridiculed, saying bullshit, clout chasing, then people changed their mind. Now, when they did their homework on me, Big Gene ain't that type of dude. So, now after 20 some years, the truth that I told in 97 is out here. All I can say is, it may not come when you want it. It may not come when you think you need it. But if you keep on having faith and you keep on believing, it's going to be there on time. It may not come when you want it. It may not come when you need it. I can say justice delayed ain't justice denied. Maybe this will do something. Bruh, I'm not answering no questions to nobody. They got the pictures, they got the they got everything. People throwing trying to throw shit so I can say this, I can say that. Man, I'm not saying a motherfucking thing. And excuse me, ladies, for my language. I said what I was supposed to say. I did what I was supposed to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, sometimes, man, you don't, You may not think the truth don't need no support, bro. But when you go out on a limb and everybody fight, fighting you, carry, everybody saying this bullshit, yo, he cloud chasing, he doing this, he doing that. Niggas don't live like I live. Niggas don't do what I do. They don't eat what I do. So I don't even argue with them, bro. You know why I don't argue with them? Because they not on my level. When it comes to shit like that, I make it into a teaching lesson. I don't argue with ignorance. I don't argue with these niggas out here. I make it a teaching lesson. Singe Hoar, S-E-N-G-H-O-R, underscore seven. Salute to you. I appreciate you too. Yeah, I don't argue with these niggas. I just had a little kid arguing with a dude after his cousin beat him up. He turned around, shot him in the leg, then shot him in the back. Rest in peace, Corey. Andre Rays, 91. Salute to you out there in Florida. I'll be down there uh, next month. Taking a week down there next month. Coming back in the country tonight. I gave them the answers years ago. I told them the shit years ago. Yo, me being an investigator, I told them what they should do, how they should do it, and what they did. They hid the information. They hid the shit. 
because they knew it was going to cost L.A. millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. And then if they could tie them niggas up to Pox murder, it'd have been crazy. So I actually saved the city of L.A. too. <laughs> That's jokes, Cali. I <laughs> just joke. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> Spoiled girl, what's up with you, mama? Stop thugging. So I'm out here, man. I was gonna do a show and I and I didn't do it because the Wi-Fi was messing up in the hotel. Unique so Reese. I spoke my truth. Appreciate you. Official 95. I'm going to explain that, man. I'm going to explain that, man. I'm going to explain that. Because uh, who's that? Cass underscore initials Z was like, yo, I was wondering what type of boys Big had around him for him to go out like that. But where was all the gangsters and the vibes? Man, listen here. You know, all that shit costs money. People didn't believe the fact that I was telling them Big was broke and he was out there having to work for Puff in order he could get his shit to keep popping. You can't, yo, and, and, and people get mad at me, you know, and I wasn't saying nothing bad about Charlie Baltimore, but you can't fuck out your league. You know, and that's just keeping it a buck. You know, sometimes you can get lucky, but when you got a girl and she want to shop, you know, at, at Fendi, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and all that shit like that, and your pockets ain't like that at the time, either she going to understand it till you get on, or she going to go on about her business. And maybe he ain't want her to go about her business, so he had to go out in Cali and work for Puff until he get his chips up. Now, when that contract was signed and he was going to get that contract for that $62 million, he was going to be all right. But what are you going to tell her? You think he going to tell her, I ain't got it? Maybe she would have understood. I don't know. I don't tell a man how to. I'm going to keep it gully. I don't tell a man how to fuck his wife and how to spend his money. But if I know if he ain't got it, he ain't got it. I knew niggas back in New York he owed for you know sixty thousand here, thirty thousand there. You understand what I'm saying? But that's what it was. Lucy don't understand. Yo, know, Big wanted to be out there. Big had to be out there because he had no funds coming in. He was building his mother a house. And then when I tell these story, yo, this nigga, this nigga, like, yeah, get out of here. This shit comes to, nigga, listen, I can look in God's eye and know I told the truth. I can look in God's eye and know what I was saying was the truth. I can look in another man's eye. Them niggas can't be in the same room with me, nigga. They can't be in the same room with me because they know. You want to know why they fuck with me? Because they don't fuck with me? Because somebody always, oh, that's why big them don't fuck. Nigga, that's why little C's and that's why, they, nigga, because they know I'm, what I say hurt they guts. They know what I say out their mouth hurt they guts. Because they know I was right. Did I want to be right? No, I didn't want to be right. I said, we leave this house tonight, somebody going to die. Lil C know I said it, D-Rock know I said it, Puff know I told him. Kim probably put it in her book. All them niggas know I was right. They didn't want y'all to know. They didn't want y'all to know. But listen, I was all relaxed and I was doing this, getting sunbathed, uh, met some nice Women from Atlanta, and that's some nice women from Newark. Mess, let, uh, met a lot, nice women from oh, uh, DC, everywhere. And I was calm, cool, and collective. Let me get back on that. All right? <laughs> let me get back on my calm, cool, and left. collective shit. You understand? Because, because I wanted y'all to know, because what y'all did out here. 
And these are some of the people who get in contact with me. What y'all did out here for me, y'all helped me just release a lot of shit that was pent up in this brother, man. And I appreciate that. Black Hands Entertainment all day. Good morning. Why you even put that up there, man? You know I love Chaz, man. Oh my God, man. This nigga right here. <laughs> Yo, listen here, man. And this is what I'm saying to y'all, man. Y'all helped me a whole lot just by me telling these stories. Because what hurt them so bad is they know I was on the inside. And maybe some people feel like I was wrong for disposing the information. But the shit is phony and baloney in a, on a pickle sandwich. These niggas out here got y'all food so they can stay rich and they can stay all right. I told you, I'm good. I've been good. I worked so hard. I came from nothing out of Wellsman. I ain't have a pot to piss in and a boot to throw it out. I worked hard, man. I work this job, that job, and another job so I can get where I want and go wherever I want to go. And go wherever I want to go. I ain't standing no bullshit. Get balconies. Right next to the Ritz. Three minutes from the beach. Go where I want to go. I worked hard. I don't stand around, man. When them people suspended me from my job and kept suspending me from my job, I fought them with every dime, dog. I could show lawyer receipts. I spent $57,000 of my children's education money on lawyer fees to keep my job. But I ain't asked a nigga for nothing. Not a damn thing. I went to this job, to that job. I used to go over people's house and fall asleep. And, and when, the, when the bell rang, up, oh, let me go to my next job. They say, nigga, what? You Jamaican? No. If I start crying, what the baby gonna do? I had to do what I had to do. And this shit is come. I told y'all after 2020, the year of enlightenment, the shit gonna start coming to light. And it's coming, baby. It's coming. We gonna find out who really, we gonna find out who was all behind it. We gonna find out what's going on. We gonna find out all the shit. And then I'm gonna tell you this other shit that's gonna fuck you up. They gonna be, they gonna be looking for Gene. They gonna be looking for Big Gene. They gonna be looking for Big Gene after I tell this other shit, but I want you to know this. They gonna have to bring it. Cause you see my friend? That's my best friend. You see him? You see me. You see him? You dead. Cause I know what they gonna try to do to me. You understand? When I put this other shit out, and I ain't talking about the book. I'm going to let people know before the book. 